how can they revolution uh, revolutionize farming when, when when the chemicals in them are killing people when the chemicals in them are hurting the environment when all our bees are dying how can they revolution farming revolutionize farming This emphasis they are playing, I mean laying upon GMOs, should be scrapped over and instead be laid on organic agriculture, which is very pure, healthy and environment friendly and food secure at the same time. The, the, the farmer's future will be lying in the hands of somebody, somebody somewhere owning the seeds, detecting to them what fertilizers they should use in their farms. That is slavery. It's a very rich vegetable. It has a lot of nutrients for the human body. Because some of these varieties here have been known to cure uh, some very dangerous diseases. People are saying GMO is about monopolizing food production, is about controlling food production, it's not about uh, increasing productivity, but it's about controlling somebody wanting to control the market of seeds the market of food. Because when we are not long, no longer food sovereign, it means we are slaves to the multinational companies. And our farmers have a right to save, to share, and to sell their indigenous seeds that they are planting. Indigenous farmers have a lot of knowledge down here. The government of the day are not even interested in knowing who they are. Now, if the GMO seeds are brought, if our people adopt uh, GMOs, then that means our culture will die out. We have the government of the day emphasizing mostly on monoculture, which is very dangerous. So they should change. Viva, viva, viva! Viva!